Meta just had a massive layoff. So is software engineering dead? Not really, but pure office work is in danger. I asked a five-year Amazon engineer uh, what skills to learn, what skills are still on demand. He said there's one thing, which is data center. Many major companies, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, are building more data centers, and even startups, like a Stanford startup, are building four megawatts data center themselves. And the big tech are building even larger. What does that mean? It will require power, cooling, and also network bandwidth. And here is where the gold rush began. People in the highest demand right now aren't writing JavaScript or Python. They are writing wiring racks, fixing the GPUs, connecting the NVLink, Ethernet fabrics. They are the electricians. They are the ones that keeps the AI actually alive. And you don't need a CS degree. It is just get a training and willing to relocate to Texas or Amazon. He said, if you are willing to go through the Amazon training, you will get the job instantly. But if you are a CIS software engineer and has a computer science degree, this isn't bad news. Here is one thing that you need to learn. NVLink. It will be the future of communication and Besides it, there are InfiniBand and Ethernet RDMA. If you master NVLink, you can design the topology of the data centers because the future engineers isn't the one who writes the most code. It's the one who understand how the large scale system ran and the power and the wires. So now the software stack has changed, not just code, but also the network topology, power and hardware.